Hi, my name is Sonal and I work in the City of London, a strategy and corporate development manager focusing on new business development in Africa. Um, I also started a charity called ETC, Educating the Children, which focuses on educating children in the Maasai Mara in Kenya under the new constitution. You need a secondary school certificate to get any kind of formal employment in Kenya. Um, and so no school means no job, means no choices basically. It's mainly the girls who, who suffer as a result of this. Uh, so even before they finish their primary education, they're usually taken out of school. So the school we've built is just a girls' secondary school. So it's, it will have boarding facilities, so it will act as a safe haven from FGM, childhood marriages, rape, and hard labour. So as well as being a safe haven, we want it to be uh, like a centre of excellence as well. Because we want these girls to be change makers and leaders in the community, so we want we will also have ETC teachers coming over to the secondary school and teaching these girls not just the regular curriculum but how to think. The community, they really appreciated it because they're used to tourists always going in and out so they appreciate us being there all the time and helping them. So my most memorable moment with the community involved when they gave me a Maasai name. And so the name is Nasarian, which means a blessing from God. And you know, I was really touched, um, touched by that because I almost felt like I was part of them after that. And I like what it symbolises because, you know, it, it kind of represents ETC's philosophy, which isn't about handouts, but it's helping from the heart. Over the years, we've really got to know the Maasai community and, you know, their fears, their hopes, their dreams. And, you know, we've been working with them for, for over seven years now, so we have built a bond with them and we do understand them a lot more than when I my first trip out there. My vision for ETC is integration with preservation. So we want to, you know, we want the Maasai to integrate into national society because at the moment they are held back quite a bit. For example, when it comes to voting, they usually told where, where to put their thumbprint because they're illiterate, they don't have the skills to read, which means you know, they're almost isolated from the whole political system as well. So we want them to integrate into national society and be part of it. But then we also want to be able to preserve their culture as well. Because, you know, the Maasai are fascinating people. They teach us about the importance of teamwork, respecting elders. And, and I think, like, for the nomadic lifestyle, it teaches us that we don't need excessive material possessions to, to be happy. By building the secondary school in the region, we're able to kind of retain talent in the region as well. We want this project to become sustainable eventually, so, so for me that's what I see as, as the next step. Adventure philanthropy would help other people because it's only when you're out of your comfort zone that you really get to know who you are as a person, and I think that's important.